A lot of us are looking for ways to learn faster and more effectively, but it's easy to forget about one of the most important aspects of learning, sleep. There's something very special that happens while you're sleeping. It doesn't happen while you're awake. Dude. Sorry. When we learn something new, our brains associate what we learned with the context that we learned it in, the place we were in, the sounds we heard, even smells that were in the air. The result is that if we're back in that context again, it's easier to remember what we learned. And if we're not in that context, it's quite a bit harder. Sleep changes that. During slow wave sleep, which occurs early in the night shortly after we fall asleep, memories that were temporarily stored in the hippocampus make their way up into the prefrontal cortex. And that prefrontal cortex seems to do something to abstractify and generalize the memories. Evidence for this comes from a couple of different studies. One study simply looked at how well people who slept and stayed awake remembered something for. Research participants either try to remember something in the same room that they had studied in or a different room. Those who stayed awake remembered what they had studied pretty well if they went to the same room, but they performed a lot worse when they went to a different room. The advantage of sleeping only came up when people were in that different room, in that different context. So the people who slept in that period remembered a lot better in that different context. Another study found that sleep creates a special kind of false memory. That sounds bad, but it's actually related to an important brain process. Research had participants remember word triplets like night, dark, and coal. These triplets are designed to prime a word that the participants had not seen. In this case, black. Participants who slept in between studying the words and remembering them more often remembered these primed words, kind of the underlying theme of these triplets, than those who had stayed awake. It seems that during sleep, at least your prefrontal cortex is looking for those deep structures that are underlying your learning experiences. Slow wave sleep also seems important for long-term learning. Say you take two people and you ask them to remember the same thing. And one person takes an hour long nap and the other person takes a 15 minute nap and then, I don't know, hangs out for the other 45 minutes. You give these two people a test, they'll perform about the same immediately after they slept or they slept and hung out for 45 minutes. But as time goes on, the difference between the two in terms of what they remember will increase. The people who slept for that hour will remember that information for a much longer time period. But sleep just doesn't improve your memory for information. If you learn a finger tapping pattern and then sleep on it, you'll be able to tap that pattern more effectively after you wake up than if you had stayed awake for the same amount of time. If you run into a video game problem that you can't solve, you are more likely to solve the problem after sleeping than if you had stayed awake for the same amount of time. Now I said in a previous video that you can't learn new information while you sleep, but you can make that memory consolidation that is already happening when you're sleeping more effective. This is gonna sound crazy, but here's how it works. While you're learning something new, put a specific scent into the air. Then when you're sleeping, make sure you smell that scent again. That will help your brain to consolidate your memories of what you studied. This works for tones and for words and for smells, but smelling something is probably the best because it's the least likely to disturb your sleep. Also, you wanna make sure to smell that scent during slow wave sleep. It doesn't work the same way if you smell it during REM sleep. So more sleep, more better, right? Actually, yeah. A lot of the earliest sleep research deprived people of sleep and then laughed at them when they couldn't do very, very basic tasks. But one of my favorite studies had people sleep more to see if their skills improved. The research participants were college basketball players. For a few weeks, the researchers took baseline measures of things like their sprint time, their shot accuracy, their reaction time, and just, you know, how tired they felt. Then the researchers asked players to sleep more, a lot more. At the beginning of the study, players were sleeping around six hours and 40 minutes a night. Afterwards, they were sleeping around eight and a half hours a night. So that's almost two more extra hours of sleep a night, which is a lot. 
But the result is that players improved on almost every measure the researchers were tracking. With the extra sleep, players could sprint faster. They shot better. Their average free throw percentage went up by nine points. Their average three-point shot percentage went up by nine points. They had faster reaction times. They reported feeling less angry, less depressed, less confused, less tired, and more alert. Seriously, just look at these results. So you can take your fancy study techniques and your stupid brain training programs. I'm gonna get some sleep. But, but seriously, if you're interested in more effective study techniques, click here. And if you're interested in hearing more about brain training programs, click this one. Good night.